It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. So, yesterday things happened, but I thought I would talk about something people would want to actually listen to. So, thought that was my phone. It wasn't as an airplane going by. My phone's on vibrate. The ringtone's not an actual airplane. I participated in a 2007 upper deck exquisite group break because one of the things that I do is I help fill group breaks when you're almost at the end and you just have a few slots left then I come along if you ask me to and I say okay I'll fill that break up for you because nothing's worse than organizing a group break and getting three-fourths of the way into it and then not being able to fill those last slots enter me so I said, all right, I'll take it. I had a, a slot in one of the boxes. That's, that's how it works. And I got a Larry Johnson Exquisite Collection Signature Jersey Numbers, numbered to 27, because he wears number 27. This is numbered 14 out of 27, which looks like this. And there's an autograph. And there's, like, numbers and stuff. Let's see what the back says. Congratulations, you have received a game use trading card with a personal autograph from Larry Johnson. The signature was signed in the presence of a company representative and or sent from a certified S2 as authenticity by Larry Johnson. On the front of this card are pieces of memorabilia that have been certified to us as having been used in an official NFL game. We hope you enjoy this piece of football history as we continue to keep you as close as you can get. That isn't the best grammar, but it will do. Here is the thing. On the front of this cart are pieces of memorabilia that have been certified to us as having been used in an official NFL game. It doesn't say... Well, let's see. It doesn't say anywhere that the number... The, these patches that are shaped like a 2 and a 7 for really dumb reasons because they're just patches. Why not make the patch bigger? It doesn't say anywhere that he wore this jersey. This could be an old... Barry Word jersey. This could be a Jeff Stoyanovich jersey. This could be a Steve DeBerg jersey. It may not even be a Kansas City jersey. It could be, I don't know, what other school or professional team has a jersey that color. We don't know. We just know it's a game used trading card that happens to have an autograph from Larry Johnson on it, which is a pretty common name in and of itself. Maybe it's Grandmama. We don't know. We don't know. I don't understand why people... Well, I like collecting autographs. I'll, I'll, I'll go that far, but come on. Was this really worth one-fifteenth or whatever of a box of Exquisite? It's okay. I helped finish the break. The purpose of these is to help finish the break. Larry Johnson, look at that. Woo-hoo! Going on to check out my cards. Next time I send a shipment in, username Joel Sitcho. What a surprise. Uh, I've got a bunch of stuff in the queue right now that the processing... Once that stuff goes up and it sells, I'll have more money in my account, and then I can send more cards in. That's how it works. But uh, for now, I'll just hang on to it and look at it and go, wow, check out my card. And then later I'll say, ooh, I'm going to send it in to check out my cards. And then I can say, check out my cards. I don't know how you guys do this all the time. This was a lot of work for one card. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm here to help finish people's group breaks. That's what I'm here for. I remember doing one of the first group breaks ever. Many years ago with those 607 Upper Deck or SP Authentic, that was a fun case. Those videos are somewhere on Google Videos. If you search for 0607 or 2006-2007 SP Authentic Hockey Group Breaks, you will find it on there. And the video was posted, oh, I'd say about two years ago. And uh, it was me and my girlfriend at the time, my ex-girlfriend now. Uh,